The Christ Letters with Enhanced Narration and Text Letter 3.7 Different Levels of Consciousness Before I continue with this account of my life on Earth, I want to stress again that everything in the universe is a particular and individualized state of consciousness made visible. I have had to descend from my present state of consciousness of universal love in order to experience again my life on Earth, which remains indelibly imprinted within the consciousness energy of the world itself, dating back to the time of its moment of creation. You must understand that when I left my body in Palestine, I left everything pertaining to that life behind me. Footnote In the light of Christ's spiritual truth, doctrines become meaningless and are swiftly jettisoned from the illuminated mind. End of footnote I had fulfilled my mission. Therefore, when I died on the cross, I was set free. I was lifted into glorious light, to partake of that light, to be the light, and rejoice in the light, which is universal love, life, beauty, harmony, joy, and rapture. Moving between different levels of consciousness is no easy or pleasant assignment. It is only because my mission on earth was not completed when I died in Palestine that I now return to help you prepare to enter a new age, a new phase of individualized existence on earth. You may gain some understanding of what I mean by the discomfort of this enterprise when you remember the times you have recalled some deep sadness in your life and you find yourself reacting with almost the same degree of tension and emotional stress as you did when the sadness actually took place. Reflecting on past suffering and sorrow will make you want to cry. You will feel a return of the original depression and anguish as you relive that time in your imagination. You may want to withdraw from people because your consciousness has now descended from your former state of happy, peaceful equilibrium to experience yet again the lowered consciousness vibrations and consciousness forms you created at the initial time of your suffering. Changing moods indicates a change in your consciousness energies. A lift in your consciousness vibrations gives you a physical, emotional, and mental lift, making you feel happy. A drop in your consciousness energies will depress the functioning of your entire system and you will feel the onset of depression, or at the very least, a drop from the former buoyancy you were enjoying. I am describing for you a fact of existence. 
Your entire universe manifests the differing frequencies of vibrations of consciousness energy particles. As these frequencies move up or down from one level to another, so do the visible and physical structures manifest differing levels of energy and there is a change of mental patterns and emotions and appearance. To descend from my state of consciousness to re-enter the conditions of my time on earth is prompted only by my love for mankind. For 2000 years Christians have been reliving the trauma of my crucifixion. Some people have even experienced the stigma, which is nothing more than a hysterical and morbidly emotional response to what they believe I endured. People have worked themselves up into an emotional pitch akin to frenzy whilst imagining the anguish of my suffering before my death. Their emotional gratitude for what I endured sends them into a state of physical distress. This is being written on your Good Friday and I have come specially to talk to you about my crucifixion and to tell you that you must abandon all the drama associated with the remembrance of this day. I died, and that was, for me, a wondrous release. It is time that people wake up from their long, long dream and come to understand existence as it really is and the truth concerning my crucifixion, which has been hidden till this time. On Good Fridays, year after year down the centuries, you have created a contaminated, traumatic, consciousness state of being throughout the world, as far removed from the spiritual dimension of universal creative consciousness as hell is removed from heaven. Footnote In the light of Christ's spiritual truth, doctrines become meaningless and are swiftly jettisoned from the illuminated mind. End of footnote Now that I have chosen to relive my life on earth in the persona of Jesus through the mind of the one who is receiving my words, in order to help the world move on to a new phase of spiritual mental development, I ask those who can receive my words to give up this practice of remembering my death and exercising physical self-denial during your Lenten fast to commemorate my 40 days in the desert. As you must realize from this narrative, my time in the desert was one of great joy and blessedness of spirit.